What's up? I'm Mike. I'm here at GMPlay.com, and we're going to take a minute here and learn an uh, old stain song called Mud Shovel. Seems to be a, a crowd favorite. I don't think there's been a gig since we've written this song that we haven't played it at, unless it's acoustic. This is one song that we weren't really able to uh, adapt acoustically. We never, never really even gave it a try. In fact, this is the only song we did a uh, self-release record back in 97. Uh, called Tormented, and this is the only song that made it from Tormented to Dysfunction, which is our debut record on Atlantic Records in 99. It was actually ended up being our second single, but kind of our first, because we had our first single, which is a song called Just Go, that I uh, was starting to do something on a station in California, started playing Mud Shovel, and everybody hopped on that bandwagon, and Just Go kind of went, it just went, it was done, and uh, Mud Shovel stuck around for a while, and to this day, I mean, you still hear people uh, yelling for it, so let's learn it. The tuning for this song is a, a tuning that I actually use quite a bit, and it starts off with, again, this is a baritone guitar. This is you know my model guitar, which is basically, when you get it, it's B to B uh, without a high E string, so it adds a low B string. From the fifth string down, I do this one, like a, again, like a drop D guitar. And then what I do is I take the B string and I tune it down to G sharp. Um, and I'm, I'm down a half step again, like it's, I always down a half, so the actual notes if you're going to tune is G sharp, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp. So you get, and you get the, you know, like a root fifth type of chord. So the riff to this song is basically just sliding a harmonic and uh, picking 16th notes. I start in between the uh, third and, uh, fifth fret on the fourth fret, right in the middle. And I walk that down to between the first and third frets, the middle of the second fret. And then I just go alternate back and forth. I bring it all the way back up and all the way back down. And it ends on a harmonic that starts the verse. So slowly it's... So, and up to speed, it'd be. And that's how that riff's played. So, no effects, it's just basically sliding that harmonic uh, up and down on a drop D string. So after the intro riff, uh, we end on a harmonic that starts the harmonics that go for the first half of the verse, which is the first one is on the third fret, on the fifth string. Then I go to the second fret on the sixth string. Fourth fret. The third fret. And those harmonics are a little tricky to get, get to ring out. You, need to, you definitely need to have a little bit of gain on your amplifier, especially when you get the, that one. Gives me a hard time every now and again. I hit a clunker. Always hitting clunkers. So anyways, this is the way the harmonics go in the verse. You'll, I'll come out of the riff one time through and I'll do the harmonics. to this song, um, just some power chords. And it starts off uh, on the seventh fret, fifth string. And then it goes up to the 10th fret, so it's. And up to speed it's. And then it goes down to a you know, a fifth type of chord starting on the fifth fret. 
on the sixth string, and that slides down to the third fret. So it's. So the whole riff uh, for the chorus is like this. So let's talk a little bit about what the right hand does in the chorus chords to get the chords to sound correct. So um, it's an alternate pick, picking, so it's a real quick, and then you mute the string, so it's. And I kind of mute the strings even with uh, the left hand, so it's. Kind of do both, put the hand down and do that. So, and then a, a quick alternate uh, strum to get the chord to hold up hold out the last chord so it's and up to speed it's and it's the same picking on the lower part so it's so, it's, so together when you put it together it's Let's go over the bridge section of the song now. Uh, it starts off on the sixth string on the fifth fret. To the open D, so it's. Sixth fret, fifth string. Open sixth string. Again, like a fifth type of chord starting on the third fret. Back to the open sixth string, so that's the riff. And before the breakdown for the bridge, you just hit the last open six string. Mute it. Bass comes in. Back to the harmonics like in the verse. And uh, there you have it. So there's this little part, an overdub, that happens uh, underneath the harmonics, the main part of the song that goes. <laughs> underneath that is an e bow which is a cool little instrument that has a magnet that basically makes your strings feed back and you can get different notes depending upon where you hold it. So the notes that I'm doing, I don't have an Ebo with me, but the notes that I, I, would, I was doing on it was. And you can hear that going on underneath the harmonic part. And the thing is with an Ebo, when you buy your Ebo, if you do, it comes with a little sticker that has a pick like this with a circle and a line through it. Because you don't use the pick with an Ebo. You just hold it on the strings and let the and you just move your fingers and you just hold the Ebo and you move it to get the sound that you want. It's cool, it makes some pretty cool effects. It's on a bunch of stain songs. So if you're interested in hearing how the song originated, because it's definitely a different version of it, I'm, it's probably on YouTube, I would imagine, but if you uh, maybe look for uh, Mud Shovel uh, on the Tormented record, the music's different. The same harmonics are there, the chorus is different, the bridge is different, and uh, it's more of a, a metal-type version. We kind of rewrote it a little bit uh, when we when we did it for dysfunction, so you can kind of hear there's there's two different versions out there. I'm not sure if a lot of people are aware of that, so check it out and uh, let's try and play the whole song now.
Feel my anger, you can't feel my pain, you can't feel my joy. 